Saint Kuriakos Elias Chavara, a saint so unique. Saint Kuriakos was born on 10th February 1805 in the village of Kainakari, Kuttanadu, Kerala. His parents were Kuriakos and Miriam from the famous Pakalomattam family. At the age of 5 he began his studies in a village school called Kallari under a learned master. Until he was 10 years old he continued his studies there. Kuriakos discerned his divine call to become a priest. While he was studying for priesthood in 1818 there was an epidemic that spread all over the villages of Kerala and took the lives of his parents and his only brother. In spite of continuous pressure from relatives he pursued the divine call to become a priest. On 29th November 1829 at the age of 24 Kuriakos was ordained a priest at St Andrew's Church Arthungal by Bishop Morelli Stabilini the vicar apostolic of Verapoli. Saint Kuriakos was a man of prayer with deep God experience. He addressed God as Appa, which means Father. For Kuriakos, God was a real friend and he always communicated with him in absolute confidence and love. In 1818, during the rite of admission to the clerical state, Kuriakos chose his motto as Lord is my portion. In the middle of all his sorrows and struggles, Kuriakos always recalled this motto and maintained a great surrender of his life. to the will of god right from childhood kuriakos developed a tender love and devotion to mother mary the name the servants of mary immaculate given for the first indian religious congregation for men reflects his deep marian devotion as a mystic saint kuriakos elias chavara repeatedly expressed his ardent desire to see the beautiful face of infant jesus saint kuriakos was a devotee of the holy family he always prayed to the holy family for the protection and blessings in all his endeavors the spirituality of saint kuriakos elias chavara was both in communion with god and a deep commitment to fellow beings He collaborated with his teachers Father Thomas Palikal and Father Thomas Porukara for the establishment of Darshan Veed a sacred home to have a constant communion and communication with God In 1831 on the hill top of Mananam he founded the first indigenous religious congregation for men Carmelites of Mary Immaculate CMI on 8th December 1855 he made the religious profession with the first batch of 11 priests the spiritual empowering of women was realized on 13th February 1866 when he along with the Italian missionary Father Leopold Beccaro founded the congregation of Mother Carmel CMC for the women the formation of the clergy was one of the most important focuses of Saint Kuriakos Elias Chavara He established a seminary in 1833 in Mananam in order to form quality priests. He was also the initiator for the Eucharistic devotion in the Siro Malabar church. He introduced the 40-hour adoration in 1866 in Kunnamava. This devotion imparted a great deal of spiritual experience and renewal to all the clergy and the faithful. He also edited and compiled the divine office for the priests, liturgical rubrics, liturgical calendars and other devotions he was a defender of faith and a protector of the church integrity when rocosism spread in the church of kerala he took a bold stand against it and brought many churches back to the catholic fold saint kuriakos elias chavara founded the first catholic press and publishing house at mananam kerala the very first book he printed in his press was gnana piyushum a spiritual book and the nasrani deepika a mouthpiece for the catholic church of kerala His writings were the true witness of his wisdom. They include the chronicles, nalagamangal, literary works, spiritual writings and letters. The most famous of them are Anastasia's Martyrdom, Compunction of the Soul, Atmanutapam, Dirge and Meditation. Saint Kuriakos Elias Chavara had written as many as 10 eclogues and liturgical dramas. He was a man of imagination and creativity. As a man of action, he brought forth the various developments in society and in church. He had a far-sighted vision of education which prompted him to realize pallikudam a concept that emphasizes to organize a school with every church. He assimilated the Indian spiritual heritage and initiated the steps to learn Sanskrit. In the year 1846 he established a Sanskrit school open to every caste and creed. This was a time when the lower castes were forbidden to have education with the high castes. His inspiring written work 
ഒരു നല്ല അപ്പൻ്റെ ചാവറുൾ അ ടെസ്റ്റിമെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ഗുഡ് ഫാദർ ഫോർ ഫാമിലീസ് ഇസ് വെൽ നോൺ ആൻഡ് ഹസ് വർക്ക് വണ്ടേഴ്സ് ടു കീപ് ഫാമിലീസ് ഇൻ നൊബിലിറ്റി ആൻഡ് ഡിഗ്നിറ്റി ഹി ഇൻട്രഡ്യൂസ് മിഡ് ഡേ മീൽസ് ഇൻ സ്കൂൾസ് ഫോർ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് ഓഫ് പോർ ഫാമിലീസ് സെൻറ്റ് കുര്യാക്കൂസ് വാസ് എ പ്രൊമോട്ടർ ഓഫ് സോഷ്യൽ ജസ്റ്റിസ് ഹി ഹാഡ് എ കമ്പാഷനേറ്റ് ഹാർട്ട് ഫോർ ദ പോർ ആൻഡ് ഡൗൺ ട്രോഡൻ He was in forefront to give just wages for laborers. In 1869, he founded the first home of charity, Upavishala for the sick, old and destitute at Kainagari. He advised every family member to set apart one fistful of rice from the day's meal portion. Insightfully, he says, let there be no day in your life in which you did no good to others. As a genius, he understood the importance of preserving historical documents. The chronicles which he wrote from 1829 to 1870 are important jewels in the history of the church and society. He was also a versatile linguist who could write and speak Malayalam, Tamil, Sanskrit, Latin, Italian, Portuguese and Syriac. The great and unique visionary died on 3rd January 1871. But he is still alive in his followers' hearts and minds. Let us all join to light the lamp. of St Kuriakos Elias Chavara in every heart that we may all march towards the light of unity and prosperity Amen.